All right, here we are, finish line, Pikes Peak Marathon, talking to Alex Nichols. He just finished second for the second year in a row. And um, great race, Alex. You had to bomb it downhill to catch some guys. Tell us how all that went. Um, I mean, I leading up to this race, I've had a bit of a cold. Um, yeah. So I wasn't sure how it would go. I think that affected my uphill. I tried yeah. to run conservative, but... Um, yeah. It's still, I ended up kind of running slower than what I expected. Yeah. Um, significantly, so. Yeah. My only hope was to try to go really fast downhill. Yeah. Um, and even on that, I mean, I, I think I could have run faster, but I yeah. was I was really surprised I caught the leader. Um, yeah. That's, but I guess that's part of it, <laughs> you know. Yeah. That's 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 Pike's Peak. It'll uh, it'll wear you out going out. You, were you yeah. were you were you feeling a, a little more tired than normal at the top? Yeah, I felt horrible. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Definitely a few points when I was questioning why I was doing this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you just gotta persevere, I guess, and keep running as hard as you can. Yeah. And, yeah, I definitely. I thought I had a chance of winning. I caught him with right at the base of the W, so a mile to go. Um, I started thinking about the Pikes Peak high altitude mile. Yeah. I was like, well, I can run pretty fast, so let's yeah. see if I can do this. Yeah. Um, so we were flying down Rockstone. Yeah. Um, just neck and neck. And then I just ran out of gas and pretty much gave it to him. You were actually side by side on Ruxton? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So it's definitely heartbreaking. <laughs> yeah, after 25 and a half miles, you're, uh, yeah. you're neck and neck. <laughs> to, come, to come down to uh, whatever it was, less than a minute or something. Yeah. Um, this is uh, third race, I guess, in the Skyrunner series. And you're sitting approximately where, you think, in Skyrunner? Hopefully top 10. Yeah. Before this, I was top yeah. 20. Yeah. So. How'd you come to choose to uh, even do Skyrunner? Um, I just, I last year, I got invited to the Skyrunning World Championships. Yeah. Um, and even though I was way out of my element, I did all right there. Yeah. So then uh, they invited me back. And, and in Innovate has been a huge part of that. Um, gotcha. They're really supporting their athletes, which is great for me. Yeah, yeah, got it. And uh, more Skyrunner series to come, races yep. to come. Yeah, um, I'm not. There's one in six days that uh, oh, Cameron Clayton is doing, or at least I think he is. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna skip that, do the World Championships in Poland. Yeah. And then about a month later is the last one in Italy. Yeah, that's right. You've qualified for the World Championship team. You got to be looking forward to that. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully this serves as a really good training run for that. Yeah. So um, uh, you got a lot of great places on Pikes Peak. Two two second place finishes in the marathon. Several top places in the ascent. Uh, yeah. Um, you've been living here a long time and looking at Pikes Peak probably every day. Yeah. Um, you still have to have your eyes on winning one of these one of these days. Yeah. You know, you, you never know what's going to happen up there, and uh, I guess I just need to keep trying. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, listen. Heck of a race today, man. Um, that was uh, very impressive because you were down by six minutes on Delaney. Yeah. Uh, about five on um, on uh, Mirahama, the winner. Yeah. Um, and made up a lot of ground, so that's you got to be proud of that. <laughs> it's bittersweet. Yeah. All right, man. Thank you so much. Yeah.